Hi peeps. <coughs> so, uh, very very short kind of vloggy style video because uh, I'm not there yet. I'm not like quite um, Linus or whatever. But I just want to show you where I am. Um, Hardware wise, everything's back to normal. Everything's running nice and smooth. Temp is quite cool. Um, uh, you'll notice there's no SLI bridge because I'm not running in the. Long story short, I'm using Umbridge now. Umbridge. Unraid um, to run um, this system. So it's basically a NAS system which you can run VMs. I'm currently running two VMs, hence uh, there's no SLI bridge. So let me bring you over here. Look at this! Look at this! How exciting! How exciting! Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. So um, to, to save you some confusion, this Asus allows me to put two displays at the same time. So this main display is um what i'm calling player one and this little display is another is a picture in picture mode of the uh monitor and that is showing the the other vm uh so i'll i'll, I'll close that down so you can see uh yes so you can see you know what's kind of happening there there you go so that is awesome look at that look at this yes so anyway um it's taken me a while to get here. There were so many issues, and there are still some issues. But the long and short of it is, uh, using um, the the stable release of Unraid had lots of problems when running um, VM. Um, I upgraded to 6.2, which is a uh, beta release candidate three, and it solved a lot of my issues. So I can, I'm literally running two VMs right now. Uh, Temp-wise, no. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, let me see if I can get up with temps on CV uh, monitor. So, temp-wise, what you'll notice is I can get the temps of the of the of the 780, and right now it's doing 35, which is peanuts. But if I try and find temps of the Xeon, nothing. I, there's no actual way to find to see. Um, temps of Xeons in a VM as far as I know uh, maybe it's possible but this is all new and wonderful and nerdy to me this is great um, so yeah so um, everything for for um, uh, Unrate is controlled via the web interface um, so as you can see I've got player 1 running player 2 was one of my dodgy ones that didn't quite work and, and uh, Windows 10 is one of their this is the one of the um uh defaults or, or templates that they kind of set up in 6.2 anyway i'm very very stoked that it's working um, i'm in the middle of trying to get um the drivers up for um uh, windows 10 or player 2 as i'm going to call it uh, same as linus um it's all on it's all on the network it's all tickety boo and i just want to share this with you if you have any questions Please um, leave comments below. Um, I've done a lot of research. I still I only know a fraction, a fraction of what some of the hardcore guys know. But I've got this far by just you know reading forums and just and just checking over, checking over, checking over. But there are some tips I can give you if you have a similar setup to me with a dual Xeon card. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. But if you dislike, leave a comment anyway. I want to hear from your, uh, I want to hear from your point of view. Um, my point of view is, is that this is, it serves no purpose. But other than the fact that I wanted to know if I could do it, and can I play games? Yeah, I can play games on it, but I'm not really going to play games on it. To be fair, I just want to see if it works. Um, next phase is backing up. Uh, everything on my Synology, which is downstairs, back into this. Um, I've got all my my five times five terabytes were on the Adaptech. I scrubbed all that data. That was scary because I needed to make sure the data was there. And it's now in a kind of uh, five disc, one parity uh 20 terabyte configuration anyway i'll go through that in more detail later on anyway that's it see you guys uh see you in the next one bye bye very excited